Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to the Migrant Hope channel. As you can see, I have a very special guest with me and if you know me or most people who watch this channel, you know Billy of course. This is one of my very, 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 very good friends. Well, known she has been on this like important, amazing self-development journey since I would say for a greater part of this year and this is actually the first time that she's talking to me about it really what exactly she embarked on and we're just kind of going to have a conversation about it. One thing that we do want to highlight is the importance of choice that we have in actually making the decision to actually embark on this internal self-development process because as young professionals one thing that we have to do is always make sure that you know we're actually developing ourselves into and she's going to literally elaborate a lot more on that so before uh, before we go ahead or as I go ahead now I'm going to give, I'm going to give Billy the stage right now so if you can just provide a brief introduction to our guests who you are kind of your career trajectory like everything hey guys um, so I'm Billy Keys like Alicia Keys but everyone calls me Billy and, um, <laughs> <laughs> I went to SUNY Oswego this is where I met Charlene hey, Oswego hey <laughs> um, and um, we originally got close through um, the African student organization but then we were also accounting majors and so um, that's how we kind of like fostered a relationship um, did the four years of accounting MBA we graduated 2016 mm -hmm. um, and I was going to start my uh, accounting journey um, was actually studying for the CPA and man, it was a journey of journeys but it was a great journey for me to realize that this wasn't where I wanted to take my life and um, through that moment that's when I first got the first thought of like okay like um, learning that personal development because mm -hmm. for a long time I realized that professional development is what we were taught yeah. and so when you have that professional development thought always in your head you're kind of living on like a, a autopilot because you kind of already know what needs to happen to get where you want to go and so for me once I realized that I didn't want to do accounting anymore I was just like kind of like oh my god okay like so what do I do now what do I do with my life and um that's what kind of first triggered that whole personal development because for me it was scary I was like, yo, what now? Like, okay, I'm not studying for the CPA. Um, I don't want to be in public accounting, but that's kind of all I know because that's what I've been, that's like the conferences we are going to, that's what, that's what it was geared towards. And then you have so many of your close friends where like, we're all on this journey together. And so for you to come off that journey, it, it leaves you in a weird space. And um, so it was through professional, um, personal development where um, I was able to kind of figure out myself what I liked and um, started the journey of like what I actually want to do. Yeah, and I think guys, like that's a very like powerful story in itself, you know, because sometimes we'll do things that we may not necessarily be, you're not passionate about it, but yeah. because that's kind of where you started, we kind of get comfortable mm -hmm. in that place, you know, and then it's like, all right, you're comfortable there, but this is not truly where I'm supposed to be. So how do you kind of break out of there and just kind of really do what you're actually called to do in life so the next thing is why do you think internal self-development is very important for us you in particular actually why do you think it was very important for you oh gosh that's a great question <laughs> um, okay so like I said before I think that we tend to confuse um, personal and um, professional and it's two completely different things. When we think about personal, we're like, okay, I have to do this, I have to do that, I have to make sure I talk like this, I have to make sure I do these things. And um, in that realm, you can almost forget who you are. And you can almost, um, you can almost confuse your professional life to who you are, right? Because like the first oh, thing, wow. when we, when people ask us like, oh, like, oh, tell me about yourself. The first thing we go to is our professional <laughs> life, right? And we all do it. We don't, we don't mean to. That's where we spend most of the time in our day. So for me, I was just like, okay, wait, who am I outside of what I do for a living? Like, who am I? Um, and so... What, what was the question? It was just why it was important. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it was important because I never wanted to um, look back whether it had been two years, five years, ten years, mm -hmm. and then start to figure out who I am. And I think that's why a lot of people have midlife crises because for so long they're on a journey and they're not really 
worrying about themselves or learning about themselves. So when they wake up in their 30s and their 40s, they're like, who, who is this, this person? person? And so I had that big fear and I'm just like, if I'm gonna live my life of purpose, I have to understand who I am first before I can, it can reflect through me in that way. Yeah. You know? Oh my, that's actually very true because whew, what you just said about, you know, when you define, when you say, oh, who is Charlene? Oh, the first thing say, oh, I'm an auditor, blah, 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 mm -hmm. you know, like, granted, yes, that may be your profession, but should we really define who we are based, based off of our profession? Because the day the profession is there, it's not there for <laughs> exactly. you, you know? So that's very important. Mm -hmm. So next thing is, um, why did you decide to embark on this journey at this very moment? Like the month you started, like every single thing, we kind of want to get into details. Like, mm -hmm. So that way, like if our viewers, you know, are going through the same thing, if they start noticing these traits in them, is that ringing a bell? Should I kind of embark on this self-development journey mm -hmm. for my own self? Okay, so um, for I wrote a post on LinkedIn probably in September um, because that made a year since when I was supposed to start my accounting journey and mm -hmm. the company I was working for decided to take away that offer. And so in that moment, um, it very emotional moment because as a first generation student, um, or college grad, that's like the, the moment you look forward to, the moment your parents look forward to as to, yes, like that hard work of me coming to this country and, and figuring out a life and getting my kids through college for them to get a job. That's what they all crave. And that's what, you know, and that's what we also want to give to them too. Exactly. Even international students, because you guys come here and you go to school and then you have to create a whole entire different life and make sure you're successful, yeah. you know? Um, and so once that happened, I, I got into this mode where I was like, okay, I don't ever want to be in a situation where my entire life re revolves around um, what I do for a living, where like if that if that opportunity was taken away from me, then what do I have to call my own? Mm -hmm. um, and at that moment, my um, Shay, she actually um, told me about Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and that's when I had read that book. Mm -hmm. And so in that moment, I was like, okay, I don't care what I'm doing um, for my professional career. I always want to make sure that I have something to call my own, like the migrant hope, you can call that your own, you yeah. know? Um, and so that's when I started, I did fit the dance classes. Mm -hmm. And um, I was just actually, like on this journey of like I need help like there has to be more to life than just living on autopilot and doing the same thing every day like yes. it has to be there has to be mm -hmm. um and so through reading books mm -hmm. and learning I realized that the one thing that most people need in their life that they don't have is either a coach or a mentor to help them to get to where they want to go and so it was at that moment where I just started like going to different events and like networking and just like even I almost signed up for um, Robert Kiyosaki's um, oh, really? coaching <laughs> program. It costs money, guys, but um, I was determined to find someone who can help me get where I wanted to go. And yes. through that, um, through the process of networking, and um, I was actually able to meet my coach, who introduced me to my now mentors, and it's been a blessing in disguise because to to know that you want more out of life but to not know how to get there is painful that's wow it's, say, say that again say to, that. Know, <laughs> to know that you want more out of life and not know how to get there is painful yeah and i assume that's how our parents felt when they first came here because yeah. they're like oh my god like we're now in this country and we came here because it's the land of opportunity, which it is, you know? Mm -hmm. But if you don't find the right opportunity or the right people to help you, it's almost like, it's pointless, yes. you know? So. Wow. Okay, so we're going to, I'm going to deviate a, a little bit because you talked about the importance of mentorship, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So how, I don't have anybody who is there to guide me. Give me like basic 101. How do I find a mentor? How do I find that person who can vouch for me? What okay. Oh, okay. So there is a difference between um, a sponsor and a mentor, which okay. I learned. I went to like some event recently and they talked about that. But um, a mentor is someone who is at life where you want to be, right? Okay. So now most of the time, like when we have a mentor at work, it's someone who's a senior level because essentially that's where you want to be, mm -hmm. right? Now when it comes to life, there's so many people in this world. There's so many people we meet on LinkedIn. There's so many people where, um, like, we we might meet 
and we're like wow like I like the things you're doing and I want to do something similar so you're like okay like how would I go about ha um, asking that person to be my mentor first you want to do your research on that person and make sure like that person actually has what you want okay. right because if you're following the footsteps of someone who doesn't have what you want you're gonna end up where they want to go like really that's yeah. like literally <laughs> what it is right like yeah. if, if you um and, and same goes with advice and I know we was talking about this earlier but like if you're um, if you're in some sort of relationship and you're asking friends who actually don't have the type of relationship you want you're gonna get that advice and end up in the direction that they are so with that mentor you want to make sure that that mentor actually has the life you want that job you want that family life that, that you, you want. want and if that's the case then you pursue the person and you you show them like wow like I'm really impressed by your life mm -hmm. please teach me how to have that same life exactly. um and so it's your actions that's gonna show them that you're worthy of being a mentee to them because yeah. no one wants to you know spend their time with someone who they're not gonna take it seriously you yeah. know so um, I would say just network 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 um, and don't underestimate people because you just never know who it is. Sometimes it's the people you least expect. <laughs> Sometimes the people you least expect to have what you actually want, but it's not until you talk to them, you open your mouth and you say hi, yeah. where you're gonna understand and learn about them. So yeah. oh my just God. always be on the lookout, even with Instagram too, same thing. That's like, very true, whatever. Social media, any mm -hmm. form of like connection, you know. Mm -hmm. Wow. Okay. So next question is, um, I guess you kind of talked about like you read a lot, you read a lot, like books and stuff like that. So would you think that those are like tools that we would um use, right? Okay. So next question is, were there any sacrifices like in this journey, you know, that you have that you've kind of had to like um like embark on? First of all, I'm going to answer this question for her. Yes, there have been sacrifices. <laughs> Billy is one of the like she puts everybody before before herself and that's one thing that i've known her how many years now she always uh, but when she started doing this program <laughs> is she then okay if i have them i'll come find you but like otherwise <laughs> how any other sacrifices have you made uh, um, on this journey yeah i think um delaying gratification mm -hmm. um, oh wow okay because um like we see it on instagram facebook all our friends we in trips, we out to Miami and stuff, <laughs> you know? And um, when you know that there's a goal that you want to reach, you have to almost have tunnel vision and saying like, this is where I want to be. And so all other things right now, I have to put to the side and mm -hmm. I'm going to get there regardless of what my parents are doing, regardless of what my family is doing, regardless of, you know, the thoughts that are in my head telling me like, no girl, go to this party. No, girl, go on this trip. <laughs> when you know you and, shouldn't. And, and, and when you know you shouldn't. And yeah. you know how I am. Like, I'm the first person. I'm like, you know I'm there. You know I'm there. You know I'm there. And before you know it, you don't have any time for yourself, you mm -hmm. know, or for the things that you want to do. So it's been a, a great sacrifice. Um, One that I don't regret at all because the person who I've become through my journey of self-development, it... I can't even yeah. I can't even describe it and um, what I often think about um, with a lot of us Millennials is we're good now most of us are good now most of us we have a job and so we can pay our bills and we could travel but a lot of us don't think about that future like okay like what's gonna happen when I have kids what's gonna happen when I have to start taking care of my parents what's gonna happen God forbid something happens in my life could I then do I have, am I the person that I need to be to be able to take on those things, you yeah. know? Um, and so that's what I often think about and that's what helps me when I am sacrificing certain things. And so through having that um, personal development, through reading books, which I never used to read, guys. <laughs> I used to hate reading. I didn't read in college. I read what I needed to read. <laughs> honestly, honestly. Um, but yeah, it's like, and when you're reading, like, mm -hmm. it's like the book is almost talking to you yeah. about the things that people don't know about you mm -hmm. that you need to develop on your own. Yeah. And so, um, it's so funny because when you're in college and you're so involved on, with, with things and you're learning to be a leader, you think like, okay, I'm reaching the peak here. Like, I know how to deal with people and I know how to deal with myself. And then you get in the real world and you realize that, okay, this is great. College is great preparation, but there's so much more that needs to be done. Yes. So, 
yeah yeah okay no that's very that's you you've said a lot in like you know no, the, yeah sorry, sorry. <laughs> no 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 but it's very like essential that like and i think oh my god that's very important what you said about as millennials we're not thinking about are we ready to face real life you know in a couple of years you know let's say something happened death whatever you know are we those are we ready to be that but then don't you also think that like you know everybody reaches that stage of personal self-development at their own pace yeah i think um i think that's a great great question um yeah but i think most people actually don't think about it at all okay um don't go she's skipping don't skip me. oh Stop. i don't know <laughs> my bad okay. Uh. <laughs> all right okay anyways um actually i'll use that as the last question but okay now let's jump into that so as millennials do you think that we spend enough time thinking about stuff like that no like, we no. do not why 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 is why is yeah. that power? Uh, <laughs> um so many people always like um like i speak to a lot of people on a regular day yeah. um, I, and I, I keep in touch with a lot of people from college from high school because i feel like you know um my calling in life is to motivate other people right and so with that being said like i i recently started to challenge people right mm -hmm. because now that i'm on this journey that doesn't mean everyone has to be on this journey right mm -hmm. i will never say oh you also have to be on this journey because i'm on this journey however i'm going to take the things that i know are changing me and ask you that those same questions right mm -hmm. where do you want to be in five years where do you want to be in ten years where do you want to be in two years right most people don't know because most people don't think about it, right? Yeah. Then there's the next stage where people know, but they they have they just think it's gonna happen without putting no work in, right? So if you know in your heart where you want to be, mm -hmm. then slowly but surely you have to start taking those steps to get there. You can't just you're not gonna wake up one day and all of a sudden be there. And yeah. so um, as millennials, I do think that there needs to be a point where you set time aside for yourself for you yes. um to read to reflect reflect on your day at work what went well what didn't go well your year at work after maybe a, a busy season mm -hmm. what helped charlene what didn't help charlene the conversation thus far is we have to be responsible we have to be intentional and just don't let life happen to you yep we have to choose to be responsible and choose mm -hmm. to actually develop ourselves yep so the next thing is, um, oh wow, that's, that was going to be our next one. Do you believe that people, okay, so do you believe like if I don't spend time actually reflecting and thinking, do you think that that could have a negative impact on my career, life, yes. life everything? It, it can have a, a negative impact all the way because it's like you're going, you're going, you're going and you're not stopping to think about how you can better yourself, right? Mm -hmm. And in life we go through certain situations because those situations are meant to help us learn something mm -hmm. right so if you're learning if, if 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 you just went through a life situation and you didn't reflect on it you're not getting the lesson that you were supposed to get from it which then transfers on to your work life it transfers on to your family life it transfers on to your relationships because is you know like when you, like you have a friend and they do the same thing over and over and over and you're like I'm, I keep telling you like but, yeah, yeah. but you're not listening to it and so that that might transfer in work where like your manager is always saying something to you and you're, it's not clicking for you because you're not taking that time to realize like oh snap like this is what this moment is meant to teach me yes. and so back to responsibility you have to be responsible for that no one has no one should come to you and say. Charlene, this lesson that God wants you to learn or the universe wants you to learn, you have to learn it. Yeah. No. You, you kind have of to have to do it on the, your own. Yes, yes. Yeah. Because so wow. many people blame the world or blame what happened to them in their lives, but we all have things that happen to us. Exactly. Which sometimes we have the choice to control that, you know. A lot of times we have the, the power to control that, but sometimes we just overlook things mm -hmm. and then just not pay attention. And it adds up and yeah. that's what causes the situations Vision. to get worse. Exactly. So I think um, one thing that we do want to help our viewers is, like, can you give us like a piece of advice, you know? Let's say, for example, I'm really trying to, you know, we're getting the year is almost over for 2018. How do I get to that point that, okay, 
what piece of advice can you give me like i'm trying to better myself become a better person internally and externally mm -hmm. so, so what would you what kind of piece of advice would you share okay so this is what i, I would say to do um get a piece of paper right write two two lines right mm -hmm. write the good things that you appreciate about yourself about what's happened in your life and then write the cons the things that you don't want in your life the things that you want to get rid of right see the list and if there's things that you want to change start to check off you know like okay like oh maybe i don't read that's the con try to use five minutes a day to start to read something and you'll realize how that will change over the course of the time right mm -hmm. or if it's like um something on the good side and you want to enhance it like i like that i have these um good relationships with my friends and then you want to enhance that then say okay i'm gonna make sure i reach out to one person every day just to check on them and see how they're doing right because yeah. sometimes if you don't see it then your mind is not gonna think about it and if you don't write it your mind is not going to remember it, yes. right? So once you do that, then now it's all written out for you, and now it's your option and your responsibility to act, either change it or not. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's very good. So this is very practical advice and real real life. Like, you know, she has done this. I'm learning. I'm going to work on this, you know, in the coming year. Like, actually think about this because I think it's so important and it's so necessary. So, guys, I hope you were able to gather some stuff from this. Um, and if you have any comments, we can make part two, three. This is a long <laughs> series. She can share her whole journey with I us <laughs> because it's it's been a long process, you know. It's, we cannot condense everything into this one video. So if you have any more questions any information you know i'll leave her email in the description box so feel free to reach out to her she's a wonderful contact to have yeah. you can connect mm -hmm. with her on linkedin all that stuff you know very good important so that we can start having these conversations on personal self-development so thank you guys again for tuning in and if you um if you love this like it share it subscribe share with everybody this is essential we are growing we are growing and we are growing so you need to be on this journey with us thank you guys and have a wonderful day bye